while realizing the current mirror we have encountered the structure the basic drain feedback structure where the drain voltage is fed back to the gate okay now this structure occurs uh, quite often so let's spend some time studying this now the mos transistor has three terminals okay and with this connection you can think of that as a two terminal element okay so i could put this mos transistor in a box and bring out only two terminals and one of the terminals is connected to both the drain and the gate okay now if we think of this as a two terminal element and let's also make our usual assumption that the threshold voltage is positive so this structure will be either in saturation or cut off completely it cannot be in triode region because if it has to be in the triode or linear region vds has to be less than vgs minus vt but we have vds equals vgs so this is not possible for positive threshold voltages vt okay now let's just plot the iv characteristic of this element thinking of it as a two terminal element we have the voltage v in the current i okay what happens is that if i do plot the iv characteristic and i'll plot it only for v greater than 0 because our model of the mos transistor is valid only when the voltages are greater than 0 okay so let's say 1 2 3 4 volts and i'll consider the same transistor as before where v n c ox w by l is 100 microampere per volt square and vt is 1 volt so it's pretty obvious that if this uh, voltage v is less than 1 volt no current can flow because vgs is smaller than 1 volt and the transistor is cut off okay and beyond that because it's in saturation it follows the square law equation which says that i equals mu n c ox by 2 w by l vgs minus vt square in this case i is this current i the id is basically this current i and vgs is this v okay so it follows a square law behavior okay so at uh, vgs of 2 volts it will be 50 microamperes so let's say this is graduated in microamperes at 3 volts it will be 200 microamperes at 4 volts 450 microamperes and so on okay so these are the iv characteristics of the transistor and this you recall is reminiscent of the diode okay the diode also had some characteristic where there was a very small current here up to some point and after that the current increases now in case of the real diode it increases exponentially whereas here it increases only a square law but this can be uh, in a way thought of as a two terminal element which is the diode so this connection is known as diode connection or this transistor whose drain and uh, gate are connected together is known as a diode connected transistor okay so you encounter this in many places you have this characteristic it can be used to obtain a certain voltage drop or uh, it can be used to obtain certain bias voltages and so on now the incremental uh, picture of this we are already familiar with we calculated it while analyzing the common source amplifier with uh, current mirror bias so it will have certain operating point i and v and around that operating point what will we have if you write it in terms of the small signal model of the mos transistor this is the gate drain 
and source this is vgs and this is gm vgs okay and the gate is connected to the drain okay so now between these two terminals either gate source or drain source it's the same this is equivalent to a resistor of value 1 by gm this we already know we have analyzed it if not you apply a test voltage here and see what current flows take the ratio you will find this okay so a diode connected transistor has an incremental equivalent which is a resistor value 1 by gm and gm has to be evaluated at the operating point okay and you can also include the output conductance of the transistor in saturation region if you do include that what happens is that that appears in parallel with this one okay this will have a resistance rds which is the reciprocal of the conductance gds and the whole thing will be equivalent to a single resistor of value 1 over gm plus gds the conductance is add because they are in parallel okay and this is a useful result to remember you do encounter the diode connected transistor in a lot of situations in electronic circuits and it's useful to know its large signal and small signal behavior okay